Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and we are here to do your weekly love reading for April 16th through the 22nd. We are going to get an oracle card from this deck and this deck and then we'll break into that tarot deck. Generally my readings are love readings, um, but we'll see whatever comes up. What does Aries need to know this week? April 16th to the 22nd. We will reveal this at the end. Oh, well, I guess we'll re reveal this one right now. Okay. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now I want to make give you some clarification on this card. This doesn't have to be a lover. Okay? This could not this could be somebody from a past life. This could be somebody that you are just familiar with, like you've known them forever. This could be a past lover. This could be if you are in a relationship now, this could be a reconciliation with your current partner. Okay? This can mean so many things. Either way, there is a reconciliation this week. And I've been called to use my old deck that I've had for a while. For some reason, I've been called to use this deck for this segment. This is for the sign of Aries. What do you Aries need to know? Oh, okay, so whatever is happening is meant to be. It does bring you the ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of hope, okay? Perhaps whatever's happening is brings will bring you a feeling of healing, okay? Whatever is happening is probably also divinely guided, okay? Whatever is happening is meant to be. This is a time of hope, time of inspiration. Ooh, jeez, I'm crow. Now, there's a good chance, I mean, there really is, that there is somebody from your past coming back to your life. Okay, this is someone from your past with the Six of Cups, and like I said earlier, doesn't mean you even know this person. This person could, um, you know, I really feel like it's somebody you may have known when you were a child. Okay, that's what I feel like. But this could be somebody that you're just familiar with. Okay, either way, this looks really good. It's the answers to your prayers. That's what I think. Oh my God. <clears throat> what the heck is going on, Aries? I'm like jealous. <laughs> Whatever this is, it's meant to be. There is a partnership here that is divinely guided. Okay. I feel like, you know, there's a pro there could be a new offer of love, okay? It is. And if there's like an orb. This is divinely guided. It's like somebody from the other side is 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 guiding this reunion, okay? Or reconciliation. Whatever is happening is very very loving. Oh. You could be receiving communication from this person. Maybe this person wants to reconcile with you, but you're not you're not feeling it. That could be the case. Who maybe you've moved on from this person. You know, maybe you have gone through some sort of transition in your life and you're like you've already you're feeling at complete peace and harmony and now this person wants to come in and reconcile and you're like, "I don't know." I've been, I've done a lot of soul searching. I've done a lot of um, in, uh, introspective work on my own. And you may be feeling like you don't, you don't have passion for this person. 
that could be the case. Maybe you're feeling like you're not going for it. You know, with this Ace of Wands reverse, it's like you may feel like you're not, you may not be feeling it, put it that way. This hermit tells me, this hermit reverse tells me that somebody is going, th you may reject, you may reject this offer. You may feel like they're going to reject you anyway. You may not feel like you're good enough for this person. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, you you may feel yeah, I think that's what it is. I feel like something happens very suddenly. You probably have very suddenly maybe you receive some communication and you may be like, "Whoa, this is just too much for me. This is unbelievable. This is unreal." Okay? You may feel like you're not worthy. You know, you may feel like you have too, too much um, undecisiveness inside of you. You may be feeling like you're definitely mentally conflicted. Okay, you're mentally conflicted over this offer of love. I feel like somebody is coming in. They may come in very suddenly and offer you something, um, some kind of companionship or reconciliation. And you might be like, whoa, whoa, I'm not so sure about this. You know, you've, you've hurt me in the past. You've, you've really left me lonely. You left me high and dry. And I'm not sure that I can um, grow anything with you at this time. You know, I'm not sure that I can even trust you. I feel like, you know, maybe somebody has, has um, not wanting to, co wanted to cooperate, cooperate with you in the past. They haven't wanted to make any compromises. They haven't worked together with you in the past. So you're like, are you kidding me? This is absolutely unreal. This is unreal. But I feel like whatever is happening, you know, is it's really causing you some mental conflict here because I feel like whoever this person is, you know, the universe is bringing them back into your life for a reason. Okay, they are. I feel like with the two of swords reversed, you know, this is going to cause you a lot of um, indecision because you had feelings. You had feelings for this por this this person. And you might want to just postpone this and be like, you know what, I need to think about this for a while. And you probably will go through a period or a time of like, holy shit, this is unbelievable. What do I do? There's going to be a lot of anxiety over this new offer. Okay. I feel like you may be like, I got to be really cautious with this person. They've hurt me in the past. I'm, I'm like, there's a lot of caution here. I feel like you might want to, you may feel like, you can't offer anything to them because they have betrayed you in the past and they're they're probably offering you the fucking world excuse my my language but i feel like somebody is um who offering you some sort of reconciliation or romance or love and you're like you don't trust them nope i don't trust you it all looks good doesn't it? it looks real good man does it look good but i'm not i don't think i can i don't think i can that's what it looks like to me. Wah! Jeez, some crow. Yeah, I feel like somebody is offering you <sighs> the world, you know. They're offering you butterflies and rainbows. They are. They're like, I totally love you. I'm so sorry. I was wrong. You know, that kind of energy. They may not say those exact words, but you know what I mean. Something like that, like... I miss you, I just want to be happy, I can't be happy without you, or if this is somebody you don't know, they're going to come in so strongly, and there's going to be an attraction, but you're going to be scared of the attraction, because it's like, maybe they have a bad reputation, you know what I mean, and you know about their reputation, reputation, whoever this is that comes into your life, there's going to be a lot of attraction, there could be some, you know, seductive energies there, and you're going to be torn. That's what this is. You're going to be torn about making the right decision. It's like, holy shit. 
you know, is this my ego talking or, or what? I mean, I really would like to, to head in this direction because there's, there's so much um, pull towards this person. But your fear of getting hurt, your anxiety is going to be overwhelming. So you're definitely going to be mentally con con uh, conflicted this week. It's like, you know, that's how I feel. It's like I am... Yeah, I think you're going to have your emotionally, your emotional guard up because this seems too good to be true. And I think this is quite unexpected. I feel like you, there's going to be an unexpected offer of love that you are going to be like, should I do it or not? And you're fearing, you're really fearing that, what does this person really want from me? What do they really want? What are they after? What are they after? And you may want to stall this person to think about it. You might be like, you know what? You might want to just play for a minute. You, you know, you'd be like, oh, I do, but I don't. But you're not going to tell them that, right? It's like, oh my God. So you may come up with some tactics to stall them while you're going through this mental conflict of what the hell do I do now? You know, should I should I just walk away from this situation or should I give it a chance? This really seems like it's too good to be true. Some of you may decide to walk away. And some of you probably don't want to look at things from their their perspective. You're probably like, you know what, I, I, I don't think, and this could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, that is all of a sudden... Um, it could be anybody, really. I mean, we have Gemini here. We have Aquarius here. We have, what else do we have? Looks like we have Gemini and Aquarius so far. I'm just looking for more, but they're underneath. Whatever, I'm not going to be hung up. We do have Virgo. I'm not going to hang up on that. Either way, this person wants another chance. Or this person wants a chance. And you are probably going to be like, uh, well, you know, you really caused me, or I, I'm unsure, you've caused me some, some depression, you've caused me some, some anxiety in the past, and I'm not sure that I can really go down this road with you, even though it is very, very enticing, you know. I feel like whatever is happening is definitely divinely guided for some reason. Very, maybe this person is just lonely, Okay, and they're hard to love, and that's why you have your guard up. Yeah. All right. Well, <coughs> it looks like you may reject this offer. You may reject this offer because, you know, you don't want to go backwards. Yeah, I don't want to go backwards. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to start over with somebody who doesn't have faith. Who I don't have faith in. You know, I don't want to make an impulsive decision just because there's attraction. Yeah, I think that, you know, but then again, there's a loss of, there's a lack of discipline and a lack of willpower. Now, now maybe, you know, you don't, you know, you're very conflicted. There's a lot of con con conflicts here. It's like, you know what? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you enticing me like this? Because, you know, this sounds too good to be true. And I'm, damn, I would like to. I really would. I would like to do this. I would really, really like to do this. But this hasn't worked out in the past. It hasn't worked out. It, you know, it hasn't led to, to um, a firm commitment here. And it hasn't worked out in the past. But, damn, this is very... Um, enticing very enticing I feel like you may not be able to master your emotions enough to say no but you may you may this person is promising you the world I feel like you have somebody coming in that is saying a whole lot of stuff that is kind of like unreal yeah I think now you need to make a clear choice, don't you? You do. You need to make a clear choice about do you want to give this person a chance or not. I feel like you, this person wants a new beginning. They want another try. All right. Maybe they've finally seen the light. 
I feel like somebody, you know, you're being called to maybe have faith. Maybe have faith in this person and give them another chance. <laughs> a lot of confusion, huh? There is. There's a lot of confusion this week. It's like, oh my God, where the hell is this coming from? I feel like somebody has realized the truth and now they want you back. Whether this is somebody you know or somebody that you've just met. Somebody wants you, Aries. Somebody wants you. And you may feel like this is absolutely too good to be true. And I have my guard up and I don't trust you. But damn, it's appealing. So I feel like you have a decision to make. And it's, you, you're going to have to make a decision. You are going to have to make a decision. What is it that you want? <coughs> what is it that you want? Do you want to give this person a chance? So yeah, I feel like this is going to be a week of confusion because there is a chance for a reconciliation with someone that you've known before. And this feels like it is too good to be true. Soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence, and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. I have to show you this card. The world is at the bottom of the deck. You are being offered a major new beginning. You've learned something big. It's time for you to start a new phase in your life, a new chapter. You're being offered a new beginning that leads to success. This is a week of mental turmoil. <laughs> Do you accept the offer or not? Listen to your inner guide to get your answer. Good luck.